Crews an incredible victory. Uh, talk us through that that final drop goal. Uh, I just put myself in a position. I just thought to myself, with that first drop goal that went wrong, um, I've just got to keep putting myself in frame. You know, we we had to stand up there as players, each individual. We all we all had to go in, and I couldn't step back. I couldn't step back and not take the drop goal after after messing up. So it could have gone anywhere. You know, I don't practice them, um, but like I say, I put myself in the frame, and sometimes it, good things happen. What was the talk like at half-time in, in Golden Point? Obviously, we had them three chances to, to win the game. Was everyone still up for it? We, we were always saying we've got them. We've got them. They seemed um, they seemed very fatigued through, through the match there, and uh, both teams worked really hard. Um, fitness were, were a massive part of it, and I think we just we just had the edge on them to, to keep them out as, as long as we did. Like you say, we had three chances. If we'd have lost that game, uh, they'd have gone down to them three chances. But to get over the line and win and be on the right end of this scoreline this time is fantastic. To find ourselves ten points behind that second half as well, 24-14 to come back and level it in the first place that must give us a, a great boost going into some massive games over the next few weeks yeah I've, I've said it um, Phil all along we're good in big games we need to keep playing these big games back end of year is perfect timing for, for, for us to be you know getting us momentum going into these big games so yeah I think it's fantastic and the atmosphere at the Magic Weekend great to see so many Leeds fans out it was great atmosphere yeah from you know we're by a start with the Leeds fans but not just the Leeds fans every, every fan that come out today very loud it was fantastic awesome to play here yeah.